Now, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11, the Bible says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of what? Light. Let us not walk, or let us walk honestly. As in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in uh, chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. Beloved, the second way to lighten up is to lighten up by putting on the armor of light. Amen. The armor of light, beloved, allows us to defeat the lusts of the flesh. How many of you remember what happened in the book of Acts chapter 2? What happened in Acts chapter 2? Come on, church. What happened in Acts chapter 2? The outpouring of the Holy Spirit where the disciples lightened up. Absolutely, they were lightened up because the glory, the Spirit of God fell on them. And the Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 5 uh, and verse 6 that we ought to walk... Uh, in the, I'm, I'm sorry, not verse 6, verse 16. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. This I say then, walk in the what? Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Beloved, if you walk in the Spirit, you are going to walk lightened up. In fact, in fact, the book of Psalm 37, verse 6, notice what it says here. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the what? As the what? As the light and thy judgment as the noonday. When the Spirit of God is dwelling in you, you know how to lighten up. You know how to walk in light and people will see you and, and notice that there is something different about you. In other words, you know how to lighten up because the Spirit of God is dwelling in you.